In previous video, we discussed about case management, how cases are being managed in Salesforce. Now, today we are going to talk about the topic Salesforce to Outlook integration. You must be wondering why we do Salesforce to Outlook integration and integration itself sounds very difficult, right? But this Salesforce to Outlook integration is very simple and very easy to use. Salesforce has provided you this instructions, step-by-step -step instructions very easily. So let's take a look how we can integrate Salesforce to Outlook. So as you know that in this competitive time of business, sales reps of any company spend their 50% of efforts and time on minimal tasks like maintaining data, transferring data, data entry in two different places. Coming back to Salesforce for managing emails and inbox to gather access all the respective information about the leads, prospects and opportunities. So. In order to increase the productivity of sales representatives, Salesforce integration with Outlook is the best solution for managing the sales more effectively. So let's take a look how we can integrate Salesforce in Outlook. Now, steps to integrate Outlook and Salesforce are, first you have to open the Salesforce org and click on setup. Then you have to search Outlook in quick find and select Outlook integration and sync and then enable Outlook integration and lightning sync button. This is how the page looks like. So I'm going to show you live in Salesforce org. We just go to setup and just type in Salesforce to Outlook. You have to go to Outlook integration and sync. Once you get this information, you can click on Outlook integration. You have to enable this, just toggle this on. After that, you will be prompted to follow the instructions. Then you have this email to Salesforce screen and use enhanced email with Outlook. Then you can also customize content with App Builder. This is an additional feature which has been added recently into Salesforce. Now next you have email application publisher layouts. This will help you to add the fields which you want to add in Outlook. So this is the publisher layout assignment. If you just click on it and edit assignment, you can choose which page layout you want to assign to your profiles. So let me just hit cancel. We'll go back to the settings and let's go to Outlook configurations now. You will click on new Outlook configurations. You will enter the name of the configuration. Let's say Outlook Sync. You will make it active. And then you will upgrade notifications for users. That means all your users will be notified whenever you are integrating Salesforce to Outlook. Then you can assign the users and profiles which users in your org should be able to access this integration which you are performing. After you are done with the security and access, you can scroll down to the data settings where you can decide the look and feel of the integration. Whether you want Salesforce to appear in the side panel or you want to check this box to add email. You have this checkbox available here where you can set default sync settings to sync all Outlook items or you can create a case as well. Now these two checkboxes will allow users to select the attachments whether they want to attach the attachments or not. You can also choose this box which will don't let your users change their sync settings. That means if you check this box your users will not be able to change the sync settings from their own. Only admin will be able to do that. And that's the feasible option because if your users may go wrong in something, then all the sync will not happen again. Then you can change the sync direction, whether you want it to click Salesforce to Outlook or you want sync both ways. So this is the syncing for contact. So now before we move to the next steps, let me tell you some advantages of Salesforce to Outlook integration. Why we actually do that? So there are contacts, accounts, calendars, invites there in Salesforce. You are creating invites for your customers where you have to follow up with your customers. Now, isn't it very easy if you have the same thing in your Outlook, you don't have to go back to Salesforce again and again to check your events or to check your follow up meetings. If both the systems are synced, Salesforce and Outlook, then you can create all your events, you can check all your calendars in Outlook itself, which you have created in Salesforce. So this feature will help you to sync Salesforce contacts, accounts, leads, opportunities, tasks and events with your Outlook. 
So you can just send an email from your Outlook and it will be synced back to Salesforce automatically in just one click. So this is the page where you can decide the sync direction, whether you want to sync your contacts from Salesforce to Outlook or you want to sync both ways. That means if you enter something into Salesforce and if you want that data to be pushed to Outlook, you can select sync both ways. And then you can decide the conflict behavior for events, task as well from here. And then you also have the edit field mapping here where you can decide what kind of fields you want to map from Salesforce to Outlook. So you can choose as per your business and also you can choose what your users should modify. If you want to give them access to modify these settings, you can check any one, any of the boxes here. After you are done with setting the syncing behavior, there is the advanced setting option available for you where you can add the advanced settings that will help you to change the default behavior of Salesforce for Outlook. So you can select the setting from here, what kind of settings you want from these options and then you can enter the values here. You can take the help from IT as well to check the domain settings and all and you can just click OK and add the advanced settings. So now let's go back to the setting page and I'll help you to understand what happens at the end of the sync. So after you have enabled the sync, you have created the Outlook to Salesforce integration. The step two is you have to create, click on Outlook configuration and then click on new configuration button. Once you do that in basic information, it gives you the name as you want click and click on active checkbox. Then you can assign users and profile section and then you can choose users and available members. So in this page, you can do profile settings. These are the checkboxes which we have discussed in Salesforce, whether what kind of syncing behavior you want. And then you can switch to Salesforce Classic. Then you can click on your name and besides my settings, you will be able to control your settings Salesforce for Outlook. So let me show you where you can do that. You have your profile here. Just click on it. Click on settings. Under the settings, after the Salesforce to Outlook is enabled, you will be able to select the settings for you. Here is the option Salesforce for Outlook. So you can check the requirement here. You can configure by watching video view configuration and you can download Salesforce for Outlook application from here. Now, after the installation is complete, what you have to do is you have to go to your Outlook account after completing the all the applications in Salesforce. Once you are in Outlook, then you will click on settings in Outlook. You will enter your Salesforce username and password in Outlook. You will click on allow button. And after that, you will click on sync all Outlook items and sync only the Outlook items which you want to select. You can choose the option appropriately. Then you can click on save. Once that is done, that means you can sync your Outlook with Salesforce. And if you want to change your settings, you can just right click the Salesforce for Outlook system tray icon and you can choose the settings and click on close button. So this was about Salesforce to Outlook integration. And I'm sure this integration is going to help your users to save a lot of time. Stay tuned for the next videos.